So, if you guys watched my last video um, titled The Liminal Zone, I mentioned that I'm going to be covering an omnibus edition of a certain manga in the month of August. And that time is upon us now. Actually, it just came out on August 9th, I believe it was. The fact of the matter is I have it now and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. It's actually a three-in-one deluxe edition, Omnibus, same thing, guys. And it actually works out for me because I've been eyeing this manga for a while, but it, it doesn't have an English release. So I've been looking at it. Whenever I search short manga series or short slice of life episodic manga, this title always came up. So of course, naturally, I was super excited for this release and I have finally read it. And here I am to share my thoughts with you guys. And that title is Yokohama Kadaishi Kiko. I think I said that right. I don't know guys, I'm like really bad when it comes to titles that are in Japanese and they're super long. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't translate the title into English. It's just, it's just straight up, like just straight up Japanese. Man, after reading this manga, I was super excited to grab the second volume, which I think is gonna come out pretty soon actually. Yeah, I was uh, pretty sad to see that I have to wait one more year just to grab the second volume of this manga. What's going on, Seven Seas Entertainment? Why do I have to wait one whole year? Okay, all right, I'm just gonna stop complaining. But it's a shame because I know there's gonna be five volumes of this um, deluxe edition. There's gonna be five more volumes like this, same sort of thickness. Um, and that's basically gonna be the full series. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna be covering other details after I show you guys the preview. So let's just hop right into it. Right off the bat, I got a quick comparison here so you guys can get a quick size comparison compared to a normal sized manga volume. As you can see, slightly bigger. I mean, it's to be expected, especially for a deluxe edition. Awesome cover. Glossy text, it's all shiny. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna try to avoid it. Well, there's not many spoilers in this manga, especially because it's episodic, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. Starting off with some colored pages. Now, the thing I want to mention is that for the colored pages, which I found a slightly disappointing, is that the colored pages use a regular... Uh, the regular paper so it's not it's not laminated it's not shiny as you can see so there's no like special paper which is unfortunate because I'm very used to seeing you know laminated paper for the colored pages it just it just looks a bit nicer but you know oh well Anyway guys, I think there are some more colored pages later on, so I'm just going to skip ahead a little and try to find those for you. Here we go. Very, very awesome. This is a small little story. They made the whole story colored, which I thought was nice. Back to a new, another story now. Now you guys get the idea. I think that was the last bit of colored pages all the way to the end. Oh, there's another colored page. Hopefully no spoilers or anything. Yeah, more colored pages. A bit more stylized. Maybe this is telling a past story or something. Um, that's why it's more like yellowish tint. Still looks nice, you know. Pretty cool guys, got some, I believe we have some translation notes back here. But yeah, that's about it guys. Small little synopsis if you guys want to read that. I 
That's about it guys for the preview. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm just going to hop right back to the review and I'm going to go over some more details that you guys may be interested in. But yeah, that's about it for the preview. So what do you guys think of the preview? So overall, the manga looks pretty nice. I don't really have any complaints about the publishing itself. Um, pretty solid. Uh, the one thing I did notice is that for some reason, the cover, it feels like the cover does not have a lot of weight on it. Now, if you guys notice, the cover actually does not stay down. It gets very easily bent and uh, that's kind of unavoidable considering how the volume is made. Um, when you're reading, obviously you're gonna have it like this, right? So naturally, it's gonna get bent. Once that bend happens, it just stays like that, to be honest. Unless you put it back on your shelf and you leave it there for a good while, maybe it'll get fixed, but I don't know, that, that, that sort of bothers me. I don't know if that's my personal like pet peeve or something, but I personally don't have any other manga that does that where the cover just stays bent. Like, look at this, guys. So yeah, it's just my personal thing that I noticed. Um, it also happens with the back cover, but not as much, obviously, because it's being bent this way. So the back cover is all right, but the front, the front is an issue. All right, so as for the manga itself, um, the story actually revolves around a robot AI and her name is Alpha. Essentially, the story follows Alpha and her adventures in post-apocalyptic Japan. And she's also an owner of a coffee shop, so it's pretty interesting seeing her day-to-day -day activities. Um, in that sense, it's kind of a slice of life manga if you guys are into that. I do highly recommend it for people who are fans of Kino no Tabi, for example, a more adventurous uh, manga or anime. Another example is Mushishi. Okay, here was a word that I was looking for. It's episodic, yeah. So it's like, it's kind of episodic. Each manga chapter, uh, there's a different adventure, different story to tell. It's a very relaxing read. Something I do want to mention, like I've mentioned in my previous manga reviews in the past, is that there is some uh, slight partial nudity, I would say. Um, it's, not, it's not as bad as the previous volumes I've covered in my ch on my channel, but it's there still. It's a very slight, um, very minimal. Uh, you don't really get to see any details or anything like that, but it, it's still there and I want to mention this in case someone wanted to buy this manga for their kid or something. It's actually at a pretty good price too. I mean, I paid, I initially paid because I pre-ordered, I paid about $36 Canadian. Um, it went down in price right after release, so I got refunded the difference. Um, so I think right now it's about $25-ish. That's pretty good for a three-in-one omnibus. But yeah, guys, definitely keep an eye out for this. Um, unfortunately, the next volume is not going to come out till next year for whatever reason. Um, but when it does come out, I will be covering it on this channel. Thank you very much once again for tuning in, guys. If you guys have suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Any suggestions for the videos themselves or manga suggestions. But aside from that, stay safe, guys. Peace out, and we'll see you in the next one.